It's yours for a day. Good. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Not necessary. I'm just gonna zonk out for a bit. Night. Zonk. 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 I'm zonking. Look at me zonk. I'm just zonking like nobody's business. Let me know if there's anything else. Oh, need. Jesus. Okay. Dora and I like to keep to ourselves. Run, 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 run. This people. This place some? is full of mad people. Right. Well. Okay. It's midnight, which you is the perfect. Right? You look like you might be sick. Oh, I am. I got bone break fever, bear. But you know, you can stay here, uh, chocolate drop, because this is no place for a horse. Head off to this sanctuary. Midnight is a good time to meet these people, I think. And I'm nice and fresh and awake. You don't want to meet new people while you're just feeling exhausted, because it shatters all chances of making a good first impression, doesn't it? Just yawning in their faces, your skin starting to slough off your body. Is that a normal thing that happens when you're tired? I think it is. Okay. Let's see what this door has to say. What is the music of life? Uh, silence, my brother. Welcome home. Ah, sudden teleportation. That's what I like my doors to be. Come on, loading screen, I know you can do it. You can unleash a new world of wonders for us. So, here we are. This is where the Dark Brotherhood live. A bit breezy, but I'm sure it'll be nice enough. There you are. I'll be with you in just a second. I'm going to help myself to some housewarming gifts. That's all there was. Nope. Ooh. Thank you for this book on Sithis. And for this, and that, and that, and that, and that. What did I just nab? That look interesting. Quite cool. Quite cool indeed. So Astrid, what have you got to say? Uh. At last. I hope you found the place all right. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Mmm. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. More? May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Thank you very much. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I must say, I already have so much on my... Again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. The sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some shock? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you are so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! So bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? It's three dog. Oh yes, please, old man. 
regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> I want to laugh like yours. I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> it occurs to me that you people have a word wall. Oh, I'll talk to you guys first. You're probably wondering who I am. You there! Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. Does this mean people are gonna stop trying to assassinate me? me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. What can you tell me about yourself, other than what you've just told me? Once I was a Shadow Scale. An assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Aww. Kill well and often. Will do. You. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. What can you tell me about yourself? Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but... My wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Eh. Later, Hamhawk. Your Ye latest exploit certainly has the sanctuary talking. Word certainly travels fast, doesn't it? But to be outnumbered twenty to one... In the end, I relied on a woman's natural weapons, beauty and seduction. The rest was a formality, though a rather wet, messy formality. Who are you? New brother. May I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. Tell me, brother, are the stories true? What can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Her scene must have loved you. May the Shroud of Death embrace you. Thanks. Yeah, I'll have that. And, uh, and that. So this is my new home. It's, uh, somewhat musty. It's actually... Well, there's food on the table. That'll suit me. Let's go talk to everyone else. Oh, manor house during the thunderstorm? What can I say? It happened just like you heard. By Sidness, you slew everyone. Well, except for that one you kept alive to serve as witness. Does your wickedness or your skill know no bounds? When I become wolf, I am treachery incarnate. And then, then, there is no one who can stand between the hunter and his prey. 
Well, Mr. Fine Voice, it's about time you and me had a proper chat. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? That may work for your targets, but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Astrid said you'd have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. What can you tell me about yourself? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Beautiful. And try not to get yourself killed. Oh, I'll try. I won't have to try very hard, mind, but I'll do it. So, we have our first set of assassinations, and while I'd love to dig into them, I probably have enough video footage now to be getting on with, otherwise, it'll just get ridiculous. So, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you later.